Hello, I'm here again with Janice Van Cleve. Her and I are going to do, uh, what number are we doing? 177? Snap. Okay, so this one's pretty exciting. I felt like a magician as I tested it out because I really didn't trust Newton's first law of physics. Um, Newton's first law states, I'm only going to do half of it, that an object that remains at rest will stay at rest. And the purpose of this experiment is to demonstrate that an object is going to remain stationary or at rest regardless of, you know, the force moving around it. They use a big word in here, so if you're teaching the little kids, inertia is a word that they've never heard before. And inertia means this object's resistance to force. So, oh, let me talk about our materials that we have. You'll need paper and scissors and stuff. <laughs> Janice suggests that you measure exactly a 4 by 10 piece of paper, but really it does not matter. So I skipped the ruler and I just cut in half a piece of construction paper. So on this paper, we'll turn it this way, we'll start with a can. Janice suggests a can of soda, but that's shaken is not always a, a good experiment, right? Okay, so for this one, we put the can on the paper. She mentions to make sure this is dry and clean. Check. Give the paper a little arch. And then with all of your exciting magician force, you're going to pull it out and everything is going to remain stationary. Three, two, one. Yes! It worked! <laughs> so that's the experiment. Everyone can grab a piece of paper and try different things that are sitting on the table or in their backpacks. Again, the arch then it remains at rest because of the object's inertia. Now I was a little worried about this one because it's a little thinner and lighter. It does wobble a little bit, but it doesn't fall over or move. And I know every child has a bottle of Don Disso hanging out in their backpack, <laughs> but try it anyway. Newton's first law really works. <laughs> 